Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Library Management System Project Tutor for Beginner. So in this tutorial, what we'll do is that we'll let the user cancel their book borrow request. So here you can see apply it. So we are going to have a option or button over here. If the user click on that button, this data will be deleted from the database table. But the user won't be able to delete the rejected, approved or return status on okay so first of all let's go and make a column over here so let's go back to our code and we'll go to our book underscore history dot grid dot php and here you can say image header so after this image we are going to say over here another header and in this header we are going to say a uh, cancel request and let me just go down and here you can see td for the image so after this we are going to mention another td here and in this td we are going to have a anchor tag then in this anchor tag we are going to say over here let's just say here cancel and let's mention a bootstrap class the class will be btn btn it will be all in let's save it then right now if we just refresh here uh, there you can see we have a cancel option over here so if the user click on the cancel option it will delete the data from the borrow table so for it let's go back to our code again and in this href we are going to give to second bracket then we are going to show over here url to first bracket to single quotation let's say the url name will be cancel underscore req request and we want to uh, cancel a request for a specific book so for that case we also need to get the id for a specific book so what we can do is that we we'll give a call over here and here you can see using dollar data we are able to get the title author name and status so we'll use dollar data to get the id as well so we we'll say over here dollar data this arrow sign id so let's save this and let's go and write a route for this so we'll go to our routes then web.php then let me just copy this control c and i'm going to paste it over here and here our route name was cancel underscore request so let me just copy it then we're going to over here cancel underscore request we need to cast the id over here so we'll cast the id we'll use the home controller and the function name will be cancel underscore request so let's go to our home controller and get this function so we'll go to our home controller and here we are going to say public function cancel underscore request we cast the id and what we do is that we will just show our here let's go and declare a variable dollar data equal to we are going to measure our table name and our table name over here is uh, borrow this table so we are going to delete a specific data from this table so for it we need to mention the borrow model name so we'll say our here borrow double clone find we'll get the specific id and after it what we'll do is that we'll say our here dollar data this arrow sign uh, delete and after it we'll return the user back to the same base so let's say our here restart redirect to first rocket this arrow sign bad and we're going to send a message from here. So for it, we need to say over here with to first bracket to scene quotation. We say here message and the message will be a uh, book board or request cancelled. Cancelled successfully. So right now we need to catch this message so in order to catch this message we need to write a uh, if condition over here let's say we write the if condition before the table tag so over here we are going to say at the end of e session this arrow sign has message if session has message we'll in the if condition we'll say here at the end of indeed and this message will come from the home controller from here okay so over here we're going to mention a div inside this div we're going to show our message so here for this div let's mention a bootstrap class the class name will be alert alert success 
and here we are going to show the masses so the masses will be uh, to second bracket then we are going to show here session to first bracket this arrow sign get message like this so we will also add a uh, close button for this so the close button will be over there we'll say here button we'll give a x for this button and here we're going to set type will be button class will be close then we say here area hidden it will be true and then we say here data data dismissed it will be alert okay so let's save it and right now let's go and refresh over here okay session has message we need to give a uh, to first bracket over here if station has message like this let's save it again then let's refresh and there you go there is no error so let's go and delete uh, this on so if you now click on this cancel option it's reloading and it is showing us a message that book borrow request cancel successfully and if you click on it okay the message is not closing so what you need to do is that uh, we need to server here data bs dismiss alert and let's just add some padding over here so let's say over here style let's say padding top it will be 100 px save it then let me refresh and let's cancel this on click cancel and there you can see a uh, book borrow request uh, request cancel successfully and we have the close button and the design changed because uh, instead of padding top we need to server here margin top margin top like this so right now what we are going to do is that here you can see the book status for this is return approved and rejected and for those option we do not want to show this cancel button because it will delete the data from the borrow table so the admin won't be able to know that how many uh, book or seat are approved or ejected so what we are going to do is that we are going to give a if condition in the book underscore history.blade.php and the condition will be uh, over here so here we are going to check the book status over here so we are going to say over here if at the end of if to first bracket and we are going to say over here this dollar data if dollar data arrow sign status and we'll get the status from the borrow table so here you can see status so if the status is equal equal if the status is applied it means if the status is applied this one only then it will show us the button otherwise it will show us uh, let's say text that not allowed okay so the a is capital over here so let me just give over here capital a and this if condition will end over here so we say here at the end of end if and here we are going to give a else condition at the end of else and in this else condition we just say over here uh, inside p tag let's say here not allowed so uh, let me just write a style over here style and let's say color for the text will be white and let's say over here font weight font weight it will be bold save it so what will happen is that if the status or the book is applied only then it will show us this cancel button and if the status is not applied then it will come to the yes condition and only show this text over there that not allowed so right now if you save it then if we now refresh there you can see cancel request everything is not allowed but we can cancel the request for which is applied so right now if i click on cancel and there you can see book borrow request cancel successfully there you go so this is all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching if you have any question or if you face any problem
or if you have any suggestion just let me know in the comment section and i hope to see you in the future tutorials